Hi, I'm Rob with Eco Panels of Tennessee. I'm up here at our plant in Hermitage Springs, Tennessee, where you're always invited if you'd like to come up and uh, take a look around. We'd be glad to show you around the shop and show you what we do. Uh, we are not close to anything. Uh, we're sort of in the middle of nowhere, so it's a, it's a special trip, but we'll, we'll make it special for you when you get here. Okay, so today I want to talk a little bit about SIP construction versus traditional construction or conventional construction. And yes, I have cheat notes today because I keep doing these videos and I'll see I forgot something. So today I wrote things down to try to help me uh, say everything I wanted to say. Okay, so what is traditional? Um, traditional is what we would call conventional construction. It's what you normally see. It's typically uh, two by fours or two by sixes on 16 inch centers with the OSB on the outside and it's it's the way 95 percent if not more of all homes are constructed uh, in this area we're trying to change that by the way but um, that's that's the way it's normally done that's what's allowed by code that's minimum code requirements to build a house um, now versus what is a SIP so a SIP panel replaces that construction method without the studs Without all those layers, it's basically two pieces of structural OSB with foam in the middle. Now there's some other things that go in, in there with headers and things like that that we talked about in other videos, but essentially that's it. So we are replacing that traditional framing with a SIP panel. It's swapping out one for the other. Um, Traditional construction has really changed very little over the last 150, 200 years. Uh, you, yes, they add insulation in walls now, and some things have advanced a little bit, but traditional framing kind of grew out of, so when, when uh, the, the settlers first settled this, air, you know, this country, um, there were large timbers and there was log homes. And of course, log homes are still very popular today. Um, and then as the, uh, those timbers were kind of used up for log homes uh, and they moved on to smaller timbers and where it really took off was when the railroads came in, you could transfer, you could, you could saw a log in Oregon, you could cut it up into lumber, you could put it on a train, you could send it to Chicago. And so things became more standardized at that point uh, and, and have since developed uh, the same way to what we have today. So what we're finding and i've been involved in construction industry for for 30 years now and one of the things that i've seen is that the quality of conventional lumber that you get now has has degraded we have a we have a tough time here at the shop in the uh, two by fours that we might use for uh the top plates and things like that we actually have to buy a premium grade to find something that's straight uh, enough to use because i know my panel is going to be straight and i need that I need that top plate to be straight as well if we're putting it in our panel. So it's, uh, it's becoming more difficult to find quality lumber at a decent price to build conventionally. Um, if you're considering a sit panel home, it is different. And your builder might try to talk you out of it. They might not, but again, I've been involved in the building industry for a long time. This industry is very, resistant to change that's just the way it's always been um, and this is something new newer although sit panels have been around since the 60s it's it's not been around since the 1860s uh, so I guess that's a little less it's a little more new um, but uh, many builders would not be familiar with a sit panel and they might be resistant and that's okay um, we try to help you with that by possibly coming out on site and showing you how to put it together, helping your builder with questions. Uh, we have instructional videos, we have an assembly manual, and we're glad to share all that stuff with you to help you out with that. Uh, a lot of our customers DIY, and, um, and we certainly help them with the same thing if they're their own builder. Some codes officials don't even know about SIPs. They are in the codes book. They just might be on a page that the codes official hasn't looked at in a while. Uh, but they are there and they are code approved. Um, bottom line is what we're trying to do is replace old fashioned 
conventional stick framing with something that we can prove through testing and data is stronger, it goes together quickly, it is way more energy efficient and safer. And it's really all about the energy efficiency and saving money long term. If you're going to live in your home for a period of many years, it's, it's kind of a no-brainer. And I know these are a lot straighter than the two buys that you can buy at the lumber yard nowadays. So we'd like to take a look at your project. We'd like to talk, I'd like to talk with you about it, see what your goals are. Are you interested in a zero energy ready home? Are you interested in saving, saving money on your uh, utility bills? Are you interested in a home that's stronger and safer? Um, we'd like to try to help you meet those goals. Give me a call shoot us an email uh, you can text us as well to our 800 number and uh, like to take a look at your plans and hear all about your project